Oh boys, it's freaking morning time in Inwood. Turn the lights on, still can't see. Hmm, funny that. So we're dealing with these, you know, 13 years or 10 years or however long we've been here now. And uh, this company, this company reached out and says to me, oh, I see you're building a new building. How about we send you some lights? I was like, oh, that'd be great. But of course, I didn't want to just fire them up and tell you, oh, yeah, these are freaking awesome after 15 minutes of using them. So I've had them for seven months. That's what they are right there. Hyper light. LED bay light. So they sent they sent some for the other side too, but the problem I'm having is this uh, this Grumlin uh, project here's just escalated some terrible. So like I got a you know 15 foot ceilings, I got to get the man lift in here and different things. So like the minute the minute we fire that some bitch up and back her out of here, I'm gonna bring the man lift in. We'll you know because like I mean look at there's five lights right there that don't work. I only got four of the nine lights working. No good. But what the plan is, see we got three banks, one, two, three. So I'm going to go up in the attic and attach a wire to there and chooch it down over to there. So those two will be on the same chooch as those, and those two will be on the same chooch as those. So I can just go over here, turn my switch on, have all my lights on. But of course, you know, we'll switch these out for, uh, for the schmancy pantsers. But yeah, they seem to... Uh, like I even leave these on all night sometimes in accordance to forgetting to come over here and flick the switch and different things, right? So seven months at least of, uh, you know, fairly consistent friggin' uh, on and off ski. So not too bad, not too bad, but there'll be a link in the prescription with a coupon code and you'll be able to get, get yourself the coupon code there if you, if you uh, are into that. If you got a shop that's got bullshit lights and uh yeah you can you can hook your hook up your shit with the stove pipe there but uh anyways we'll pull we'll pull one down here and we'll uh, have a little inspection on so is there the son of a bitch is it's got a dimmable uh dimmable arse coal onto it says so looking in the instructions you can do like a dim without load and dim with load so it's like just depending on i guess the dimmer dimmer switch yeah we're not going to worry about any of that in here because you know, we want as much light as we can sound this but like look at the struck here boys that's a pretty pretty decent uh heat stink i would think onto it but uh yeah kind of hard to sort of see up and up into the outer outer spaces but uh that's the guy that's the guy right there so we, we gone done tested it heavy duty uh latch onto it too for the hanging purposes so that's handy. Got a safety, safety arse coal onto it. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward situation. Comes with a freaking uh, a guy. So I'm just gonna, you know, put some receptacles up in the ceiling. And that's how we'll, you know, they'll be on the switch and that's how we'll run those. And we won't worry about dimming them. And that's what we'll do. But hopefully we can uh, get this son of a bitch fired up here. Basically, power, power wires waiting on some bits to get those done and then we can uh, put power to this son of a bitch I should make the uh, the bracket for that because don't really want to run it with a piece of wood in there probably and the intake too shit <laughs> one things after another but in other words we're gonna get uh, get something done on this van so we can get it out and get these lights up hey eh? I apologize well, normally I don't think, right? So this isn't anything out of the ordinary, but uh, I figure that's a pretty nice friggin' piece of the wires right there. If I just stab this guy right on there. Cover one of them. And then I'll leave that right there and then crush it and it'll be gone forever. So that'll be great. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fish that son of a bitch out there. That's gonna be what's gonna be powering the grumbling. Okay. With any luck, this wire will reach the fuse box. I won't have to dick around with any of that. But, you know, this is in wood, so we should girds. But that's some bitch. It's all the way around over here, all the way up into down into there. So if we can uh, just keep peeling the layers back, we should be able to almost 
almost yanked that through. I gotta use two hands so I don't root it, but uh, yeah, it's gotta go all the way to the to the starter anyway, so. Scores, Susie, so hey. There's quite a bit of it right there. Downtown Inwood, bud. You should probably think about relaxing. Oh no, my blue wire. You bastard. Look at that harness. Right from the friggin'. Right from the fuse box to the friggin' firewall. Good lord, that's a good one. Okay. Doing the old heart boost, you got the seat seat tore out, but they got the get the power wire running running underwards the thing. I don't think the end will go through there, so I'm gonna have to try to tip her up or something, undo it from the starter and jab her through the other way. Maybe maybe there's not as big of a tusk on the end of her. Whew. Okay, saving myself probably thirty dollars. Probably more than that, but you know what I mean. Free car, not a free car, but you know what I mean. Fuck free wire. Might as well chuck her out. Mm -hmm. Let me take that guy there and that guy there, and this guy here, and go like this, and switch that over like that. Brand new battery. Scores. Well, there she is. We got both ends. It's not, uh, I don't know. It's all right, I guess. I guess it's soldered. Pretty fine. That it was just a little crimple peeny, but, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good length of wire there. It was just attached under the firewall over here, so there must be, you know, a schnagler valve between the, uh, the Go check this out. Is there any cigarettes in here? Oh, no, he didn't leave us a sogi. Didn't even leave us a cigarette. No. No. We got some a little bit of change down there. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. Car will be here for a few more days, I suppose. Oh, and I think I was gonna try to sell that, but that's uh pretty well the perfect situation for the Grumlin, I think. Wheel well fit right between the asshole probably. And you got a back seat slash somewhere to lay your dome, if you will. Your dome Berlini. Go from the positive to the asshole. Fucking right we can, huh? It's kind of the wrong way though. And if we put the battery in the other way. And this guy would be here like that. And that could go over there like that. Drill that out a little bit, but that might be better. Squizoot! Frigia! That's a Dodge. That's a shorty Dodge. That one there. Well, I picked up a little kit of dinks there. This end isn't going to work. Can you even see? Freak sakes. So just give that one of them. Oh no. Oh no, what are we doing? Oh no. Oh no, probably. You know they make a tool to strip the fucking end of that wire pump line, fuck it. Oh, I apologize. That right there is what we're after, boys. Wee! 
your heat gun, Penguin. That's not how you do it. You're doing it wrong. You're not doing it right, Penguin. It should be red. Where's your heat gun? It should be red. You're not doing it right. I apologize. Well, we got about 32% of the power wires hooked up or whatever. So, you know, over there, over there, down over to here, over there. There ain't nothing sort of hooked up yet. Ground to the frame to the, to the asshole. So I got to do a from like that point to the engine. And then I'm going to do the same on this side from the ground down to the frame and then from the frame to the engine. And then I'll probably do, you know, frame to the body in a couple spots down the words but uh yeah i still gotta do positive to the starter but i run out of wire i don't know i don't know where it is i don't i didn't i didn't get left enough i didn't get left enough out of the car i mean i got stupid shit like that but you know that actually that actually might just work i don't know it should probably be a little fatter though maybe i don't know we got some selections to choose from too bad that wasn't a little longer that would have been a good one but anyways, we'll figure it out. There's a longer one, eh, what have you? But uh, yeah, so a couple, couple things. Still gotta clean out the radiator and all that stuff too. It's just been busy playing trap there and all that type of other stuff. So I apologize for that, but uh, a little bit of time. 2037, might be done. Might be able to pull her out of the shop, but uh, yeah, links in the prescription for the, uh, for the lights or whatever. Hopefully, I mean, I'd like to really get this thing under its own girth by the end of the month. That's that's the goal anyway, but yeah, we'll have to see how she goes. But uh, yeah, links in the prescription, coupon code for discounted uh, lighting purposes, and uh, smoke some cigarettes.